だけどね。Hi there guys, and this video I'm going to show you how to record your screen, computer screen, with Cam Studio. So, Cam Studio is a free um, video recording computer screen software, um, and it records in HD, and it's one of the only free ones out there that records in HD. So, by far, this is the best um, HD free um, screen recorder. So, you want to go head over to camstudio.org. The link will be in the video description, and this if you, you'll be greeted with this page. And you know you can scroll down, and you know you can donate to keep you know as it says there, alive and ad free. So you know, you know, give them a couple of you know a little bit you know two two quid or whatever, two dollars or whatever you know just to you know thank him for what he's done or whoever for what they've done. So if you scroll down. Um, it says, you know, a couple here. So, where can I get this, and how much does it cost? And as it says here, can 100% free. So, yeah, and you know, you're not downloading anything illegally or whatever. This is completely free and for you. So, as it says here in the download links here, um, you've got Cam Studio, the Cam Studio. 20.exe, so that's the actual installer, and you've got a couple of other things here. So, like the new Camtasia Studio 2.6 beta, but it says experts only, so make sure you know if you're going to download that you are an expert, really. So, I don't know what that means, but you know, whatever. But you just want to go download this one here, so you're going to click on this, and you know, you'll be greeted with the, the little pop up as you can see here, save the file, and also you're going to want to download the um, Camtasia codec. So, get the got the get the deep. Sorry, get the EXE. So, um, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so, download the codec 14.exe and then you want to install them. So, once installed, yeah, you're ready to go. So, it'll look, you'll be greeted with something like this. It looks like Cam Studio right here when it's finished. And you're going to double click on that and it's going to open up to this little little box here. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. Record, pause, stop simple as. But there's a couple of things you might want to add before you um, start recording and whatever. So in the region, what a region is, you can have a full screen, so that's recording full screen. You can have a fixed region where you can choose the size, yeah, and also you can just have a normal region. That is just going to, you know, you can choose how big, you can actually draw it how, how big you want it to be. So um, I mostly go with full screen. So if you're going to record, use full screen. All right, in options, you want to go to video options. Then where the compressor is, this is what you downloaded the lossless codec. So you want to go down and choose that one right there. So this makes it a bit smaller. Right, quality. Um, it's up to you what you want to be. Um, 90 will get you into HD, and that makes sure it's not too big. Um, frames, you just want to kind of keep it all the same. You can mess around with it how you want to be, but it's fine like that. So I'm going to click OK. So back in options, you have cursor options, and you can add hey, um, you can use your own cursor, whatever custom cursor. You can even hide the cursor. But then there's a couple of nice things like highlight the cursor. You can choose a different thing, choose all colors, whatever. So you can choose a couple of nice things there. So that's a good thing. Options, you can record from a microphone. Um, yeah, audio options, you can go through all your audio options for everything like that. But I'm not going to do that now. So enable auto pan. What that is is if you have a little fixed region, it will follow the mouse around. So everywhere it sees, it's always zoomed in. But you know, a lot of people like that, but I don't. And you can choose the speed. But I'll put um, no, I won't put that on actually. Then you have a couple of program options like minimize program, start recording. Always use that. Hide flashing rectangles during recording. Otherwise, you'll have this little rectangle thing around you. Um, saying save settings on exit, and I don't know what that is, but I just left it because it comes with that anyway. Um, recording to flash, you know, just leave it as AVI because most computers, you know, recognize AVI. <coughs> so, keyboard shortcuts. You can add your own shortcuts in there and so on. So, say I want to start recording, just hit this record button and it minimizes and now I am recording. So, it might not look like much is happening, but it is recording. So, when I want to stop, you can come down here, it might be in your little thing or here, and you can click the Cam Studio 
little button down here if it will actually load up again there we are so now it loaded up and you can click stop but if you added an um you know a shortcut you can just hit F10 or whatever it is to stop so I'm gonna just name this test um, that'll do and then it says welcome to cam studio stream and there's a couple of like things you can do here but I'm just gonna save it and I don't want any of them so once it's saved um, it will save it as an AVI and it pops up within this little player here and then you can play through what you've just done and look at the you know nice quality you can make sure it doesn't lag like that um, by messing around with the settings but as you can see really nice recording quality yep so once finished you can just exit out and now you have the AVI movie and you can edit this with um, Sony Vegas Pro 9 or maybe if you don't have that paid version then maybe you can do it with um, well you can do it with media player and then you can um, render it out in HD quality because if you don't render it out it's not going to be in HD but this does record in HD so I just play it through the normal Windows Movie Maker for you now as you can see superb quality that is completely clear HD and looks absolutely amazing so I hope you like this video guys um, thumbs up rate subscribe um, some new tutorials on the way just got back from holiday so yeah thanks guys